Hey back again with new video guys the sampat you are watching sampat sam fx youtube channel and this is poco x3 nfc custom rom reviews back with new video i'll clear this data anyhow uh, we'll go into settings here you guys can see regarding my device hyperos by xiaomi u 1.0.24.3.25 developer beta edition here if we go into detail information specifications these are the things what we can get here Android version is 14 here, which is latest one currently. And baseband version you can read. Kernel user is 4.14.290 Ceylon T, St. Louis kernel. This is all the information. And this is the typical home screen and app drawer. Some of the apps are pre installed. And this is typical home screen. And these are the quick settings toggles. In the edit section, there are few more as you can see. You can actually add them here. It's fine no lag or anything like that in the ui as of now and regarding apps again you get here proper uh, hyper is dialer direct video call support is also there and in the settings you also get call recording here you can manually record the call or automatic call also available here at it will not announce the other person that you are recording the call and this is the uh, camera interface here and the video mode you will get there's a hyper -S camera here 4k 30 yeah if i go into ultra wide again it remains same 4k 30 fs which is fine in my opinion and photo mode you get all this necessary options in the more you get all these things not a leica one here but if you want any other g cam ports you can manually install in this particular rom guys and it is really really smooth and responsive i haven't faced any lags after using it for several minutes it is actually smooth this is the app world let's give it agree and this are the apps i'm currently using some of the pre-installed apps like health you get it music applications which is me music and me video and regarding gallery again i'll explain within a while these are the things what i've noticed i'll come back to settings here there is slight zitter in the settings UI. It will be noticed once you restart your smartphone. You will start with wallpaper sun personalization. Again, you get that lock screen customization. Those are available here. As you can see, those are available. You can actually customize them and utilize them. And this one, yeah, this is also available here dynamic island wallpapers you get plenty of wallpapers here but this super wallpapers for some reason it will not get downloaded you need to manually install the apps then it will be working fine the other wallpapers are fine you can see slightly jitter in the uh, ui here again themes you'll get different themes here effects and fonts icons you will get this option of colors that's fine if i go into lock screen again you get these things in the lock screen charging animation and notification status bar again notification shade you can change between two app notifications for individual apps if you don't want to get notification you can disable from here uh, battery indicator notch in individual apps if certain apps is not playing in the full screen just click here and give it always show notch control center style you can choose older and new one and smart device controls are kept on and if you want you can add them from here uh, home screen customizations again with app drawer options are available classic light mode are available app all settings are given here and double tap to lock screen search bar provider only one and hide app icons home screen layout up to 6 into 7 is given system navigation you get both gestures and buttons option animation speed you get three options and orange items and recents is very simple you get horizontal or vertical nothing like a ios kind of style here sound and vibration again basic settings are given additional settings are given here you guys can see sound effects again you get uh, this one Xiaomi sound and this four options nothing kind of Dolby Atmos or anything like that do not disturb modes are available haptic feedback you can enable or disable display and brightness again 
dark mode which is pitch black condition this is how the quick settings toggles look like in the dark mode this is the audio player let me disable that and if you disable dark mode you also get a sunlight mode here advanced textures color scheme again there is saturated and you can make it warm advanced features are not given here reading mode again you can schedule it out refresh rate kept to 90 make it 120 hence it was zetter maybe let's check out now still i have that zitter here fingerprint face unlock and uh, screen lock let's check that out fingerprint unlock as you can see it's quite fast to unlock your smartphone using fingerprint and let's check the face unlock it's also quicker to unlock your smartphone using both face unlock and fingerprint unlock no problem regarding that safety and emergency you get some options some are reason specific here and privacy protection again you get some more options here apps again default apps you can change from here dual apps app lock you can keep it from here and permissions also you can gather from here battery again you get four different options and additional features you get all these options here schedule power and off and clear catch when device is locked turn off mobile data when device is locked that you can customize from here additional settings again uh, memory extension kept up to 6 gb for my 6 gb variant second space is given led light options are given here enterprise mode floating windows uh, sidebar you can enable always show that you can make it out quick ball is there again using that you can assign some options for quick balls and actions you can actually do that if you want gesture kind of actions again you can take screenshot partial screenshot and launch camera actually you can turn off the uh, flashlight google assistance there are only few the actions are very few here uh, anyhow accessibility menu is also given here see the jitter and uh, opening time here quite laggy here initially it was fast actually but now currently it is a little bit laggy here in the recent apps it's not that laggy let's go into gallery verifying data got it yeah if i show here you get recognized text recognize uh, table is missing here in the edit option again you get that uh, sky feature is available here and video editor also pre-installed and this is a geekbench version 6.2.2 guys 731 is a single score 1720 is a multi-score android version is 14 links 4.1 4.290 silanti st louis kernel i mean is use and this is 3,73,802 is the android benchmark result 3.8 degrees celsius is the temperature is 4 percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing and the version used is 10.2.4 <coughs> dnm info again it's not available for this device and basic integrity it is profile match getting failed and play store certification is not done here hence you might face issues using payment applications you need to manually use the magix models to get those things better and the me turbo charging is also given here these are the things i have observed here let's see how the gameplay will handle in this particular rom and one thing i have observed in this video is the volume is very much low as you can see i kept 75 percent of the volume still the volume is not that audible here and this is the gaming mode what we can get here i'll keep it bright and saturated you can even record the video and there is even voice changing features are also available if you go into settings you can see smooth plus ultra only nothing kind of high fps count here let's say at least it handles good there was a lag if you guys can notice or not that's the how 40 fps gameplay is always but i still able to get some kills here anyhow the experience is fine here but yeah let's make this one into a uh, performance mode let's see any changes you can notice now oh 
okay that's not uh, bad actually the ui is really really laggy but gaming experience is fine here i mean i am speaking according to 40 fps that was fine we'll come back here uh, that's the uh, hyper os build guys there are many builds available right now for poco x3 slash nfc if you like one among them you can definitely flash around and this one i am not recommended ui is uh, zittering and play store certification has not been done and overall it's uh, not that great compared to previous versions what i made it's again up to you if you want to use it as a daily role, you can but i don't recommend this if you have any specific questions regarding this particular rom first watch the video then comment down your comment section and if you're still not joined the whatsapp group for this poco x slash nfc you can join there and that's it guys if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button and if you like the video give it a like this sampath signing off filmity with another interesting video until that keep smelling bye bye for now